Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mitzi69, welcome back to the channel and another episode of, uh, I was going to say World of Dummies then, but no, it's an OP replays, hold my beer. Now we have two replays for you today, both tier 10, both German, uh, but one is a heavy, one is a medium tank. So the first up, we're going to see uh, the E50M driven by Suguand Mugu. Uh, so... Normally, usually, um, this guy sends me some replays, and he's in the past. He's he's featured in on the channel in in the past uh, for OP replays. Uh, great, great player, amazing player from the Feast Clan. If you don't know the Feast Clan, then where have you been living? Um, absolutely a great clan and a great player, and I love watching this guy's replays, because whenever he sends me a replay, I know it's just going to be OP. Now, I haven't actually watched the any of these replays. All I know is the damage and the outcome. So he is uh, Castilla, and he is playing quite aggressively, uh, but you know, one medium tank, one light tank on his team, one medium tank, one light tank on the enemy team. Pretty much the, the matchmaking is uh, in perfect matchup. You know, three TDs, two heavies, and then the two uh, the two fast tanks. So he is pushing this. I mean, that was actually quite a nice shot there from the Vickers. But the Vickers has lost quite a lot of hit points. And Suguan has managed to pump up 1,500 damage. Now, this Vickers is a one-shot. He really needs to clear him. But he needs to be careful of that, uh, that grill. Now, nice HE shot. But the grill is running... Um, running the spool liner and you can see him trying to get rid of this vickers light now he has to get rid of this vickers he but he doesn't you can't poke up to get rid of because of those tds i absolutely hate this map when there are more than one td uh, again unfortunate bounce there against the vickers uh, that should have in my opinion that should have penned uh, but he's still going to fight the vickers i mean the vickers should have run away he should uh, why still fight why fight you go if you're one shot go even go win the position the grill's at, you know, just get the hell out of there, what's the point fighting, uh, not, you're not going to do anything, uh, but Seguan manages to take him out, there goes the E3 on the enemy team, so it is now a 6 versus 5, he can hopefully get some uh, shots here on the AMX 50B, and he is going to do that, so he's pumped up 2,300 damage, and he's blocked 1,000 damage at the moment, uh, but the heavies now I mean, the mouse is up there. The mouse is getting ripped apart. So he needs to clear this medium now, the WZ-120, which isn't a great tank. Uh, and for some reason, this guy has just gone full Yoda. I think he's going for the, the waffle. Yes, he is, which is absolutely perfect for Seguan. So he can just go and uh, farm some damage without getting shot. Now, you can see him trying to keep the waffle alive. He's getting the... Uh, he's gone for the bout. He's gone for the ram, sorry. As we know, the E50M is great. One of the best rammers in the game and now they've managed to bring it down to a five versus four but you can see all of these heavies and the tds down there uh very very low hit points they're basically all one shots whilst the enemy hip uh the enemy hit points are basically all full uh so he's uh, there's still a lot of work to do still a lot of work to do and he's now he now has to play it from distance to try and clear this st but of course there's still two tds one of them i wouldn't worry about as much which is the tortoise now the tortoise is a fantastic tank uh when it has a fantastic gun doesn't have the best armor it has nice dpm but it's not a tank i would really worry about on this map he really needs to focus on getting rid of the grill now he is he's now on 4k damage he's on 4k damage it's a four versus four his grill is a one shot his crime wagon is a one shot to uh, the grill um, and he manages to get behind this grill now he does shoot him with he again he still does roughly a little bit more damage than he would if he is shooting uh, APCR um, because he has the spool liner and that bounce there is absolutely crucial because now he can just get the shot he's going for the track he uh, manages to stop him and he should reload before the grill does just about he should uh, and he does so he takes him out for his second kill and now 5.2k damage he's blocked 1600 damage and it's now a three versus three so it, where is this tortoise for the start the tortoise is there he's managed to find the tortoise and the tortoise is not looking but there goes the Kran Vargan so getting this shot getting rid of this tortoise again is absolutely crucial now in this kind of position yes you have to be careful of the tortoise because of the dpm that that tank's got so he's just going to leave him for now because you know there is other 
tanks that are probably more uh, worth going for more than the tortoise. And again, to get to where the, where the tortoise is, he's going to have to open himself, go, he's going to have to expose himself in the open for quite a bit of time while he is getting to that tortoise. So he's gone to look at what else he can do. You can see him just driving around in the circles, just, just thinking like, what do I do? And luckily for him, the tortoise actually comes to find him. So nice 300 damage there. The tortoise is coming and you know, I don't even know what this guy is doing. And you can see this is the bad thing about the tortoise. He's over the hill and you can see the freaking hatch from a mile away. Uh, so that's why for me, the tortoise is so bad. And it has a nice gun. It has a lovely gun, but it just needs more armor. It, these tanks are known to be very strong armored. Uh, no, they're not. The tortoise especially, it's just got so many weak points that you can penetrate without you even shooting uh, your premium rounds. So Seguan has taken full advantage of that and the tortoise coming for him, um, as he did, has totally cost a game. Now these two heavies are actually coming for him this way. If the tortoise would have just remained where he was while these two attacked... I think it would have been a completely different outcome. Now, that was an unfortunate bounce there on the AMX. He needs to clear him. Two tanks on one here. He's completely... He doesn't even need the waffle. Like, waffle, stay where you are. Like, I don't need you. I'm on 7.7k damage. I really don't need your help. I have got this. So, he's going to get one more shot in to the side there. And here comes the waffle. Is he going to get the winning shot? He's just about to reload. He's going to get to the side. And he does take him out for his fifth kill so Seguan well done absolutely amazing play um I think that definitely was the outcome of that game was definitely thanks to the tortoise in making that move I mean he came to you it should have been the other way especially when you're in a tortoise but 8.3k damage top gun high caliber he gets the uh, the Radleys and of course he gets the steel wall uh, so he bounced quite a lot 1900 base xp uh, he what six shots six uh six bounces so uh, he, he bounces half of his shells uh that hit it uh, that hit his tank and he manages 30 shots 30 shots and 25 of them it was uh pen so not bad at all so thank you Seguan, for sending me that replay in next up we have guns and roses in the vk 7201 on the normandy map uh i personally love this tank I love this tank. Um, played correctly, it's the armor profile is very strong, very strong. The sides, you can see the side, the little bubble on the sides, that is weak on either side. So when you are facing, you can see it just at the side, like literally up, just above the tracks, that is actually weak point. So you do have to be careful, and it kind of makes the tank so you can't side scrape because if you side scrape, you do show them. Uh, what is going on? So we just fast forward this bit. There we go. We're back into the game. So, uh, so yeah, the armor profile, the the front plate and the turret is very very strong, and you can sort of get the front plate you can lift it up so you can lift the front of your tank up and the the bottom plate still is very 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 strong but of course on a flat surface uh, your bottom plate your, your front plate your whole armor basically is very strong except for those little bubble bits at the side above the tracks so you do have to sort of not sit in a in a still position if you can see a tank aiming at you just go side to side like not just your turret i don't mean your turret i mean your tracks just wiggle your tracks side to side and you will get bounces guys you will get bounces but you can't rely on the bounces um especially when you've got quite a few weak points so our guy at guns and roses he's decided to flank all the way around the map which is probably which is probably the best decision it, this hasn't got great gun depression so going to where the other teams are uh, other tanks are he won't be able to get his gun down uh, and in that position he will be exposing the side of his tank like the as i said the bubble bits on on the side above the tracks so flanking around was probably the best choice and he manages to clear the waffle so it is a two minutes gone it is a six versus six and he can now get into a position the, that is good for this tank and you can see the the jaeger root is looking he gets a shot and then he gets shot again for because he has to turn his tank to face the vk and you can see him guns and roses here he's constantly moving he's not just sitting in one position there is another td somewhere so he is constantly rocking backwards and forward and he's is he going to get this nice he oh what a lovely high roll into that amx 50b 12 
100 max roll into him, which pushes his damage up to 3,400. Now, this has the exact same gun as the E100. I personally much prefer this over the E100 because the E100 is, is, is a difficult tank to play. Uh, a lot of noobs play the tank. But it's just got way too many weak points. The turret is all flat, switched to gold, and you could just penetrate it. Whereas this, it hasn't got as many weak points as the E100. Uh, so I do prefer this over the E100. Is he able to get another HE shot into these guys? You can see he's waiting, waiting, and he does get a nice shot. So that was actually crucial because the enemy are just taking care of his team now. And it is now a two versus four. Getting another HE shot into this guy would absolutely uh, would be amazing. And this is what I'm saying uh, at the beginning of the map. If he gets into this position, he has to expose quite a lot of his tank to get the gun down uh, to get that shot off. So at the beginning of the game, when there's sort of seven tanks, yeah, that's not really uh, not really good. And you can just see here, like he's trying to get his gun down, and that is a death start, I know. Uh, but he has to go quite far up to get that shot. He still gets a shot without taking sh uh, a shot from the death star, and now the death star's pushing. He has to back up but he's going for the death star i thought he would have just reversed he gets a lovely bounce there and now he's going to ignore the death star that is absolutely great play there really really good awareness and you can see the death star is his main threat at the moment if he turns to go for any other tank this death star can just he but he decides to just keep going back he does take a shot from the death star i love what he's doing here he goes for the he does clear him 952 damage he's on 7.3k damage now a one versus two he has to get another bounce and it's not ideal that a Kranwagen is coming around the side of him if the Kranwagen has got two shells it is game over he manages to bounce the death star so he's going to go for that Kranwagen oh my god he misses his shot that was painful that that could cost him the game he's just going to keep going back up He's going to back a back a back, and you can see he's got the HE loaded here, but he goes for the ram, and he literally gets just so lucky. Absolutely lucky, but great play. He, he just kept going back. Whilst the Death Star is going forward, he's going back, and then he just stops. So he actually gets the ram in damage. Uh, so I love what he done there. Whether it, he meant to do it or not, I love what he done. And this is an extremely heavy tank. So that ram was enough to bring him down to a one shot. Great play. Absolutely fantastic play there from Guns N' Roses uh, in the VK-72. So he ends on 8,300 damage. 69,000 credits. He gets the Ace Top Gun High Caliber Radneys. And again, he gets the Kolobanov Medal. Only 1,760 base XP, which is about right, to be honest, because he didn't do no spotting. He flanked around. You know, that's about right. Um, but a still well-deserved Ace and a very very nice carry so i hope you enjoyed it guys i am meadzy69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye